One of the really cool things that you can do with Emacs is you can add pretty symbols inside Emacs. And by pretty symbols, I'm talking about a specific mode that is built into Emacs these days. It's called Prettify Symbols Mode. And what this does is you give it a word, a, a string of characters to look for, and then it replaces that word with a symbol, such as a, a Unicode glyph or an emoji. And the other day, I was looking over at r slash Emacs on Reddit, and somebody posted uh, this thread here, share your prettify dash symbols dash a list. And that's the block of code you need to add to your Emacs config that tells the prettify symbols mode exactly what words you're trying to replace and what symbols you're trying to replace them with. And if you look at this uh, screenshot, here, let me zoom in here so you guys can see this. This is what the block of code looks like. For example, he's replacing his begin source blocks with down arrows. He's replacing his end source blocks with up arrows, etc., etc. And uh, if you guys want to see this in action, let me switch over uh, to my desktop actually and launch Emacs here. This is Doom Emacs. And let me get into my uh, Qtile config because my Qtile config, of course, is written in Python. And, and one of the uh, things that I do in my Qtile config is I have these statements that have the word Lambda in them. Let me search for that in my config here, right here. So this mouse underscore callbacks equals button one and then Lambda. And that actually is the word Lambda, but it's replacing the word Lambda with actually a Lambda symbol. So I have that actually several times in this config where Lambda comes up. It just replaces that with the Lambda symbol. And I think that's really neat uh, because it's not confusing at all in this case because everybody can tell it's a Lambda, right? But it does save on... Uh, spaces as far as character spaces, right? It's, that could be an issue, especially if word wrapping comes into play in a very lengthy line. And of course, this lambda is just transforming the lambda, you know, as far as the output that's being displayed. But, you know, looking at the actual plain text, the raw data of this config file, this actually still would be the word lambda. If I hit backspace on that right now, well, let me get into insert mode. You know, I just deleted the last uh, A character of the word lambda. If I type A, you know, it, again, lambda then becomes transformed into the symbol. So looking around at what some of the people over at the r slash Emacs subreddit were doing in their Prettify Symbols A list, I decided to play around a little bit with mine. So if I open up my Doom Emacs config, which is a literate config, uh, config.org, let me zoom in and fold this, and let me see if I can find my Prettify Symbols list. I believe it's in the org mode section of my config. Yeah, there it is right there. So you see, we have set queue, Prettify Symbols, A list, and then, of course, you have the words and then the symbols that they're going to be replaced with. One of the neat things that I thought was pretty cool was replacing checkboxes. One of the guys on that Reddit thread were replacing their org mode checkbox lists, you know, with glyphs. And I thought that made sense. Instead of having three characters for checkboxes, you just replace it with a single glyph. And to show you how the checklists get transformed, uh, let me open up my agenda.org. And in this file, let me zoom in here. Watch what happens when I turn on Prettify Symbols mode. So I'm going to do a meta X and I'm going to do load Prettify Symbols. And when I hit enter, all those checkboxes got transformed to the appropriate glyph that we had decided. If at the header of this org document I have title, but maybe I also want to add author. So I could do something like uh, author. And you see how I had a symbol for it where it gets transformed into a pencil, I guess, you know, author written by. And then, of course, I could actually specify an author. I could specify my name for that. Uh, let me write that. Let me do a buffer kill to go back to the Prettify Symbols list. And author was right here. I also transformed the date into a clock symbol. The begin source blocks should have... Uh, up arrows and down arrows, the begin example block should also have up and down uh, chevrons, not necessarily arrows. So let me go to the top of this and, and let me page down to show you some of the source code blocks. So here's one, you know, the uh, down arrow and then Emacs list that is the begin source block. So that's pretty cool, right? You know, some more of the source code blocks here. Uh, it's visually, it stands out, replacing the words begin source and end source with arrows, up and down arrows. Now, some of it I don't think makes a lot of sense. I, I got to be honest, I'm not sure I would use most of the Prettify Symbols stuff here because uh, 
some of it would be confusing, especially since I do a lot of stuff on camera for you guys. Like when I'm doing org mode stuff, you know, typing the word uh, hash symbol plus date transforms to a clock. I mean, that could be confusing if you don't really know what I, <laughs> how that's happening. Same thing with author becomes a pencil, right? So some of this I probably won't keep. I like the lambda symbol. That makes sense. And that's obvious what's going on with that. But most of this, these other examples that I've got in this list, I probably won't keep. Mainly, it was just proof of concept and I wanted to share this with you guys because I know a lot of you guys are trying out Emacs, trying out Doom Emacs and I do think the prettify symbols mode is pretty cool. I think a lot of you guys could use it uh, and I, I'm going to use it a little bit. I like the checklist. I, I think it really makes sense having the checklist transform inside org mode too. Anyway, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Absy, Gabe, James, Mitchell, Akami, Alan, Chuck, David, Dylan, Gregory, Erion, Paul, Polytech, Scott, Steven, Spin, Wes, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons. They are the producers of this episode. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support my work, I'd appreciate it. Please consider subscribing to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. Symbols are bloat.